Hey, I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the Director of Content. I'm back again this week with more live book mail openings, so let's get down to it. Oh, this is so cute. The Journey of the Penguin. To celebrate 80 years of Penguin books and 70 years of Penguin classics, a charming picture book that tells the imagined story of the penguin who waddled his way into history as the symbol of a beloved publisher, which of course would be Penguin, which is now Penguin Random House. So this is so cute. Uh, and it came out October 27th, so you can get it now. It imagines this little penguin on journeys, and that's a sad penguin. But hopefully the penguin will become happy again. So um, there are no words. It's just the journey through pictures. Here's the penguin getting his photo taken. That is really awesome. Good job on your inside baseball publishing reference this time, penguin. This is really cute. Oh, this is really cool too, man. You can tell that we're getting into the season where people uh, put out the books that they want you to give as gifts. This is also Penguin, Stories in the Stars. A beautifully illustrated hardcover reveals the universe of stories written in the night sky. It's by Susanna Hislop, illustrated by Hannah Waldron, and it comes out this week, November 3rd. An Atlas of Constellations. Wow. Okay, this is really, really pretty. And so there are essays about the different constellations and they're accompanied by these beautiful illustrations. Cetus is the sea monster or whale for instance and this is the drawing that shows you the constellation. How cool is this? And this would be a great holiday gift. It's gonna look gorgeous on my coffee table. Oop. Oh this one came with a whole folder. Oh. <laughs> My name is, and I am a cover bitch. <laughs> you have a Ben addiction, this book can help. So this one is for fans of Benedict Cumberbatch. There's a tab marking the Cumberbatch quiz to see how much of a cumber bitch you are. Uh, do you know the name of Mrs. Benedict Cumberbatch? Do you know which film he starred in as Julian Assange? Do you know how he formally announced his engagement? Do you know how he says the word penguin? Um, I don't know any of these things. I'm not really one of these. Uh, he just doesn't ring my bells, but I know that a ton of people love Benedict Cumberbatch, and this looks like a really fun stocking stuffer. Also, it came with a little pencil for completing the quizzes, so that's really cute. And it looks like this was out this week on November 3rd, so you can put it either on your holiday list or buy it for your uh, Sherlock-loving fans or friends. Friends. Maybe you have fans and friends. I don't know you. Okay. A Tale of Highly Unusual Magic by Lisa Papa Demetrio. This is from Harper and it looks like it's middle grade. Came out October 6th. So this one just got lost at the bottom of the stack. Uh, Greetings, salutations, and welcome to the exquisite corpse. All it takes is one person bold enough to set the story in motion. Let the magic begin. So the exquisite corpse is a real thing. It's a writing exercise where one person writes a sentence or a section and then they fold up and the next person just picks it up and goes. And so people create the story just based on what the previous section was. Uh, this is about Kai. Kai is in Texas visiting her truck driving, hip hop loving Sherman Tank of a green ant. Leela has finally escaped the suburbs and is ready for a glamorous summer of international adventure and royal treatment with her father's family in Pakistan. They have no idea that their utterly different worlds are about to collide. Each of them finds a copy of a mysterious old book, and when Kai writes three words on the blank pages, they magically appear in Leela's copy on the other side of the globe. Cool! Kai's words are soon followed by line after line of the long ago romantic tale of Ralph T. Flabbergast and his forever love Edwina Pickle. I am so in this book to win it, I don't even need to read the rest of the description. This is also a really cool cover. If you're looking for a great middle grade read, maybe check that one out. And this is my last one today. We've got On the Moon, Stories from the Tortured Mind of Charlene Yi. This is uh, from Harper Perennial, and it came out this week, November 3rd. This is equal parts whimsical, hilarious, 
heartbreaking and terrifying these short stories, both written and illustrated by Charlene Yee, follow the difficulties of love at every age. And you can see that she's illustrated them right alongside the text. Charlene Yee is the writer of, uh, and the star of a documentary called Paper Heart. She also appeared in the films Knocked Up and This Is 40 and in the TV series House. So she is a multi-talented woman. Another set of illustrations. That's pretty cool. It says it's a strange and wonderful collection of stories. I always like these creatively formatted books. I'm gonna give that one a shot. All right, that wraps up another week of book mail opening. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts, questions, comments, whatever down below. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of Book Riot's bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.